What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Sure, I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. So we need to discuss, or let's discuss rather, this cameo that's coming in Scream 6 and go over a certain person who it just cannot be along with others it can't be. Now, before also going over the likelihood of who it can be. Now, if you do not want any spoilers, then you shouldn't be watching this video or if you just simply don't care because this isn't really a big deal. Welcome and let's get going. So for starters, I've seen Skeet Ulrich jumped around as a cameo possibility in Scream 6. He's currently the number one contender on everyone's list since this uh, cameo has been hyped up and gained a lot of attention over the last couple of days. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Hello Sydney was the main source that has got everyone talking about the upcoming cameo. If it was a different person or a different source who originally talked about said cameo, you can let me know, but I've been seeing the sheet that's being shared over on twitter reddit facebook and it looks like it's coming from the hello sydney website so a list of character names yep came back or came out a few days ago and there was an unnamed secret character slot which raised a lot of questions for people which makes it make sense because i think it was labeled secret cameo or secret unnamed character and it was in alphabetical order so that's also got people thinking Viewer Non has also chimed in about this and said that they are certain it is Billy Loomis. Now, here's what I'll say. It's Billy Loomis if Hello Sydney is only aware of the one cameo, of course. Skeet's participation, like some of you, like me, remember months ago that Skeet's participation was already leaked. So I don't believe that the secret cameo is Skeet because of that. Not at all. He already has a cameo that was leaked. He's a cameo in the movie, but it was leaked months ago. Uh, so I don't believe that this secret cameo, if Hello Sydney is aware of the fact that there's more than him, I don't believe they're talking about Skeet. But I will say if that's who they are referring to, then you're in for another surprise because Skeet, Skeet isn't the only cameo in Scream 6. There's there's another cameo in Scream 6 that isn't Skeet Ulrich. Skeet Ulrich was already unfortunately leaked online months ago when it wasn't supposed to be. Uh, I will say this. When it did get leaked, it matched up some of the stuff that people say Skeet had talked about in a previous interview at one point when asked if he would be in Scream 6. I'm still trying to find where that is to validate that. Apparently Skeet was like, oh, we're shooting in June. What do you mean we're shooting in June? You're going to be in Scream 6? And then, of course, a leak comes out months later after filming his rap that he has a cameo in the movie. So he was kind of already telling us he was going to be in the movie. Probably not supposed to be, but he was telling people about this. Um, I say Skeet can't be can't be the surprise because he just isn't the only cameo. He, there's no way he can be this surprise. There's another cameo in Scream 6. Skeet is one of them because again it, it leaked online, but there's another one that thankfully hasn't, and I believe this will be an even better surprise for fans who are eager to see who it is. Based off what's already known, it can't be anyone I've seen hyped up online like Heather Langenkamp, Joshua Jackson, Joel isn't returning, so you won't have Dwayne Martin or anyone else I've seen on Twitter. It's especially not going to be Stu, I'm dead as fuck, Mocker. It's not going to be Sidney Prescott, sadly. Stu returning in Scream 6, just to talk about Stu really quick. That seems kind of senseless to some people anyway, if he isn't going to be going after Sidney. But hey, he could always just want Gail in order to lure Sidney out of, out of hiding. But none of that is happening in Scream 6, so there's nothing to worry about there. Sydney's cameo was a false rumor that gained a lot of traction that credible people who talk to me regularly were being misled and thus wrong information was being tossed around. I even shared some of that here. I know that which now that I have now that I know some screenings have happened. I know for sure what is true and what is not true. Nev Campbell as of now unless they have another surprise that's going to be added last minute. She is not in this upcoming movie. She is not the cameo. So again unless they legitimately have a last minute surprise for us. She is not the cameo either. Because if she is, that would be a third cameo to me. I'm telling you, there's more than just Skeet. There's there's more than just Skeet as a cameo in this movie. So that's why I do not believe Skeet is the cameo that needs to be hyped up. If that is who Hello Sydney was talking about. If not, then you guys will have a great surprise in March when you see who it is. Now, I do want to discuss cameos I would like to see. So I wouldn't mind having 
an Emma Roberts cameo, not at all. Maybe Kirby could imagine a life where Jill didn't snap and she was still good friends with her. Then we get to, get to see that manifest on screen as the movie allows us to see Kirby's imagination play out and allowing Jill to return without being alive. You can bring Emma Roberts back, etc. That'd be a great way to just have Jill back. You could even have David Arquette cameo in some capacity. Same scenario can be applied. Maybe while on the phone with Ghostface during this sequence we see in the trailer, maybe there's a bit where Gale is teased and, and taunted about Dewey's death. Gale is reminded how Dewey died and Ghostface can twist it in a way to convince her that it was her fault that he died. Now, during this, Gale can have an emotionally charged scene that culminates in her just breaking down, ultimately imagining herself, and we get to see it manifest on screen to see this imagination of her imagining life with Dewey if he was still alive. The cameo could also be another previous killer, not just not just Jill, like I've mentioned. It could be Amber, Roman, Mickey, Mrs. Loomis, Charlie, and last but not least, it could be Richie. Now with Mrs. Loomis, I've seen a lot of people hype up Mrs. Loomis. Here's what I'll say. If you were to have Mrs. Loomis cameo, how would you all like to see that? For those of you who want to see Mrs. Loomis as a cameo, how would you like that cameo to come to fruition? Would you just like to see her with some de-aging the way they brought in Skeet Ulrich or would you like them to just maybe bring her voice, bring her in for, for voice work, like Lori Metcalf will come in to do some voice work? I don't know how a, a Mrs. Loomis cameo could work because uh, I'm not really all that concerned about <laughs> Mrs. Loomis, Mrs. Loomis appearing in this movie. Um, I think the cameo I prefer to see the most, just like many of you, obviously would be Sydney, but that's just not on the table at the moment. So again, Stu Mocker is not the cameo. He isn't even in the movie. Billy Loomis, he already had his cameo leaked online a few a few months ago. And then Sydney Prescott, Nev Campbell, she's not participating in the movie. So those three big ones, they're off the table. Uh, in the sense that if Hello Sydney is in the know that there's more than just Skeet as a cameo, then I don't think that's who that's who they're referring to. There's another individual that um, that thankfully just has not leaked because Skeet had his cameo leaked months ago. That is why I saw a tweet from Viewer Anon where they stated that he thinks that this is most likely going to be Skeet Ulrich. I think a part of that is because Skeet's participation was already leaked online. However, there is somebody else who just not who has not been leaked, and that will be the greater surprise, not Billy Loomis. So you're in for a treat when you see Scream 6 in March. So you guys can let me know who you think it is down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.